Thank you for choosing CrossPath Telecom Network. You've never loved a phone company until now. In this tutorial, we will review the primary functions of your CrossPath telephone. Let's get started. Call path. Similar to a traditional analog phone line, a call path can make or receive one call. Your telephone has a total of six call paths, therefore allowing up to six concurrent telephone calls. Making and receiving calls. There are three ways to make or receive a call. Pick up the handset, press the speakerphone button, or press a call path button. Please note, all outbound calls must begin with a nine. Here's an example. Calls made outside of your local area code must begin with nine, then one, followed by the 10 digit telephone number. Here's another example. Park hold. If you would like to place a caller on hold and allow another telephone in your environment to pick up on the caller, you will use the park hold feature. Your telephone will display the park hold extensions along the right hand side of the first menu screen. To place an active caller on park hold, press the park hold button. The caller will then be transferred to a park hold extension in order from top down. The park hold extension light will turn solid red, indicating where the caller is now located. Any telephone can now pick up on the parked call by pressing the corresponding park hold extension button. Button functions. The remaining buttons on your cross path telephone also have specific functions. The five buttons located beneath the display are logic buttons. Logic buttons initiate the corresponding function shown on the screen directly above. The first logic button displays the weather app, which provides your local five day weather forecast. Pressing this button again will return you to the previous menu screen. The second logic button switches the screen to the next page. The third logic button displays a detailed call history menu for your telephone. The call history menu will allow you to filter through the calls you have answered, dialed, missed, transferred, or will display a list of all calls. The fourth logic button will redial your last dialed telephone number. By default, the fifth logic button is not programmed. The circular set of buttons are your navigation buttons. These buttons will allow you to scroll between pages and menu options. The page indicator icon at the top left of your screen highlights the current page you are viewing. The volume toggle will adjust the volume of your ringtone, active call, as well as your speakerphone. The dial button has two functions. After a telephone number is entered, you can press this button to initiate the call. If the telephone is in standby, this button will display the most recent list of dialed calls from your call history menu. The speakerphone button will initiate the speakerphone. You can use this button to dial or answer a call in speakerphone mode. The voicemail button opens your voicemail box. For voicemail box setup and options, please contact CrossPath support for additional information. The phone book button opens the company phone book allowing you to call numbers that have been added within your customer portal site. To access your customer portal, visit crosspath.net. The transfer button. During an active call, this button will transfer your call to an internal extension or outside number. To transfer a caller directly to an internal extension, simply press the transfer button, then the extension speed dial button. If entering an extension number or outside number using your dial pad, Press the transfer button again to complete the transfer. Remember to dial 9 first for an outside call. The conference button. During an active call, press this button and dial the next telephone number. When the caller picks up, press the conference button again to bridge the calls together. Unlike global park hold, the local hold button places an active call on hold only to your telephone. After pressing the local hold button, the corresponding call path button will blink green. To pick the call back up, simply press the blinking call path button. The wired headset button will activate a connected wired headset. This button is not used to activate a Bluetooth headset. 
The Mute and Do Not Disturb button has two functions. During an active call, this button will mute the call, turning the button red while muted. If the phone is in standby mode, this button will place your phone in Do Not Disturb mode. Your phone will not ring in Do Not Disturb mode. Calls will be directed to your voicemail box. If you have any questions or need support, the CrossPath support team is happy to assist you. Please feel free to reach out to us at any time. Thank you again for choosing CrossPath Telecom Network. You've never loved a phone company until now.